hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how we achieved this gypsy look now the reason i call it gypsy is because it is a combination of knotless and goddess together which makes gypsy and the hair we use is different um, but the in installing technique is the same so yeah just gonna call it gypsy you know braids um, so as you can see I'm doing the box part these are medium size and I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into this tutorial so obviously you will start it just like you would start any other like knotless braids there's really not much difference in that aspect so you start off with braiding your clients hair and begin to feed in the braiding hair onto your clients hair to give a very natural finish so I start into dividing her hair into three I take little pieces of braiding hair I fit it into the hair and braid it just as is and when I'm fitting it into the hair I'm fitting it in between my um, index finger and I'm just braiding the braiding hair onto her hair it's very easy um, this is the easiest way I found to do knotless braids some people like to fit in do a different type of fitting technique um, but this is just the easiest way I've learned how to do it and how to teach others and it's effective it gives the same results and yada 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 so I begin to add a little bit of that curly hair into the hair um, so when I place it onto the hair, I leave a little bit out because you want that curly hair to hang outside of the braids. So I just take a little clip, little you know, um, metal clip and clip it out of my way and continue to fit in the, the braiding hair onto the client's hair and braid it as is. Now, you can customize how you want your curly hair to be. This doesn't have to be by the book. It just depends on what look your client is going for. Some people just want the curly hair at the ends of their braids. Some want it at all over their braids. This particular tutorial, we're doing it all over the braids, which I think I, I like it better because it gives that very like goddessy, gypsy look. It just looks very effortless. It looks it looks very beautiful, you guys. So I really like that look. But if you're not really much for curls, or maybe you just don't know how to maintain your curls, then I recommend you just do the curly pieces at the ends of your braids. It's more low maintenance and you know, just it's not just all over the place if you don't like that messy curly look. Okay, so it's all about preference. So just let that be your code of conduct as you braid or as you do your consultation with your clients. So I'm adding another piece of curly hair again. Now, the way I add my curly hair when I want to do it all over is that the piece that I hang up at first, when it drops, I want it to be, I want it to end where the next curly hair starts. So, and it's really just because the, the curly hair is quite short. Now, if I was working with longer pieces of curly hair, I would, you know, do less of the adding of curly hair because the hair, the curl, the curls that I would add would already be super long and I would need to do multiple steps of the curly hair if you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, if you want to save yourself more time, just get some curly um, strands that are long so that way you're gonna avoid the hassle of stopping and adding curly pieces which takes time so um, keep that in mind when you're doing this now in terms of pricing and structuring your price guys I'm not even joking this hair took me time almost 10 hours this hair took time I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it you're doing not less braid not less braid already takes time okay and then you're not doing a goddess braid technique on top of that not less braid so you're gonna be there for quite some time so when you're putting your uh, your pricing structure together take that into consideration do not lowball yourself this is work it takes time um and yeah <laughs> you want to be compensated you know appropriately for your time now for me for this medium size not less slash goddess slash gypsy look i would charge like maybe 450 for a medium and i would charge 550 for a small for a large i would charge like 350 that's how i would price mine um and of course some of you guys are gonna call me out in the comments oh, but i don't i don't care if you think that's too pricey there's always a stylist for your budget okay 
so don't come at me over my pricing I know my time I know my I've built my brand strong enough and I know what I'm doing so I you know I charge according to my skills so you should do the same don't argue people's prices under the comment section a lot of you guys have a very very bad habit of doing that please stop it's not nice and it's uncalled for and nobody cares So we are going to continue this process all over the hair um, and yeah just make sure you have a nice little show series with like one hour episodes and 50 seasons going on because you're gonna need something going because I don't know about you but I'm a very very not so chatty stylist I like to just focus on what I'm doing and get you out of here like I'm not really with the chit chat so when I'm working I always have a, a nice TV show going, something to entertain you. My clients know this. They come, they bring their laptop, they work, you know, they're on their phone, they bring their snacks. Do you, I do me, so I can do your hair and you can go <laughs> in the kindest way possible. Um, but yeah, that's just how I operate when I have super long services with braids and stuff like that. So, Because I notice when I talk a lot when I'm doing hair, I mean, I like to talk to my clients, don't get me wrong. Um, but not all throughout the service because I notice when I do that I start to have a headache and I get really tired and it affects my work so I just know myself and I just pace myself and I just focus on what I'm you know there to do and you know my clients really respect that and I really really appreciate that and appreciate people for not giving me a hard, hard time about that um so yeah that's pretty much the gist for this hair now the brand i use for the the hair i like i said in my previous video i will no longer be giving out free shout outs to these companies on my videos if you're interested to see the hair that i use for these tutorials you can go on my only fans i upload the video clips of the hair and additional information that you will need and tips so feel free to subscribe to that to get all the tea um but yeah you guys so i will see you guys um when we get to the end or the, the next portion of or the next step of this look okay so i'll catch you guys in a little bit So when you get to the end um, and you want that curly hair to, you know, to kind of be at the end and look very natural, just take a very tiny piece of that curly hair, place it on the ends, and then just braid down as far as the straight hair would take you. And then when you get to the very bottom of like, not the very, very bottom, you still want to give yourself a little bit of length with that straight hair so you can tie a knot. Um, so like something around-ish that area so I'm gonna break down just a little bit more and then I'm gonna take just a tiny piece of that straight hair the reason I take the straight hair is because the straight hair has more of a kinky finish and when I tie a knot the knot is going to stay put now if I use the curly hair because the curly hair has more of a silk finish when I tie a knot it will kind of unravel a little bit so I'd have to tie multiple knots and when you tie multiple knots it becomes too big and obvious so take the straight hair tie one knot and you'll be good to go and you have a look just like this you see how it kind of blends you can't really see the straight hair anymore but yeah when we go to the next step which is dipping the hair into hot water you're gonna see that the ends is gonna melt really really nicely with the curly hair making it you know giving you a very very seamless finish and it's not gonna be obvious that you have that straight ends in the hair and the straight ends um, I'm not gonna need to cut it because like I said the hot water is going to merge the curly hair and the straight piece together and yeah you'll be good to go 
So I'm just sectioning the hair when when I or whenever I dip hair in hot water in general I like to like give myself sections. So if I do three sections four sections or two sections here I'm giving myself three sections so the middle section and one on the left section and one on the right section Which gives me a total of three sections and then I just take a hot water and I dip the hair into hot water Make sure that your clients is properly draped and you also have a towel to dab off any excess hot water that may splash on your clients or the floor or whatever the case may be um, so yeah, I'm just using my finger to kind of detangle this hair is amazing you guys the curly hair that I use is amazing It makes all the difference um, That's why that's another reason why my service for this particular style would be more expensive Just because the hair is more expensive and you can tell that it's quality hair um, So yeah, if you're interested in finding our hair like I said go to my only fans subscribe Get all the behind the scenes tea and information that you will need to create these hairstyles um, and yeah, you should be good to go. So after dipping the hair into hot water, what you want to do is just kind of get you some curl activator or a mousse or whatever you, you like to use. Go ahead and apply it onto the hair. For this particular look, I didn't trim the hair because like I said, we're working with curly hair. There's already a lot of like intentional flyaways. So I did not, you know, trim the hair. And plus the braiding hair that I use is very very like smooth it doesn't it literally gives me minimum flyaways so it literally made this look so effortless and so bomb so make sure you guys go on that link and check it out you guys i'm telling you you're gonna elevate your goddess log look just by changing up the hair that you use and just being open-minded to trying different things because different hair on different brands give you different results so just keep that in mind if you're, you're not really liking how your hair is turning out on clients Switch up your products, switch up your hair, switch up anything you can switch up. Try new things until you can find the perfect formula for yourself. Now I'm just going ahead and taking some mousse and applying it onto her hair just to kind of give the curly hair some body, you know, make it more defined. Because, you know, I use some hot towel to kind of stretch it out a bit. So you want that curl to bounce. You want it to just be more flirty. Um, and as you can see, that's what I'm doing right here. I don't know if you noticed the movement of this hair. Like the curly hair and the braiding hair combination was fire. So, um, yeah, it gives you more mobility. Look how the hair literally moves like a wig. It's so amazing. It moves like curly hair. It's so bomb, you guys. So make sure you guys check it out. So yeah, this is the final look. Now keep in mind you can also do this in triangle braids. The reason I like box parts is because it gives you a fuller look. Triangle parts give you more of a, you know, I think it's more suitable for larger braids because it doesn't give you as many braids. Um, so yeah, just it also depends on what your clients want. You can also do medium size and small size with triangles. It's just going to be a lot of work, okay? Um, but yeah, it can be done. So just play around with different shapes. I'm going to start trying different shapes on my channel because I'm honestly getting bored with the triangles and the boxes. So I want to try different things which you guys will be seeing in the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is the final look. I'm just taking some clips for my Instagram. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram at Glam by Mary. I'm just taking some final video clips of different angles just to use for my videos on my Instagram um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was helpful to you and I hope that I was able to explain it well enough for you to grasp and if you're looking for additional learning uh, classes you can subscribe to my OnlyFans um, I haven't really been consistent on there and I apologize for those who have subscribed and has been dealing with that it's just a lot has been going on right now in life and 
I need to catch my breath, okay? So I apologize. I'm back to work again. So yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a merry day and God bless. I love you guys.